all right, now it's still over a night in the woods. High of 89, but we have a 91% humidity rate. And that makes it about 110 in my book. No breeze at all, slightly overcast. And tonight we're looking at about 65, 70-ish with humidity. So it's going to suck. However, what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna come out here, we're gonna repurpose a shelter. You guys saw me with a shovel several weeks in a row. I told you to lead into something big. Well, today's that day. All right, so here we are. We're back at the scene of the crime. My former hillside dugout shelter in the woods. Now, I've slowly been repurposing this bad boy and actually started filling it back in. Then something dawned on me. Well, two things dawned on me, actually. I was checking the analytics, and unless I'm out here building the Taj Mahal every single week, YouTube slows the videos down and doesn't circulate them. Second thing I noticed was I have a half dug hole and earth at my disposal. So why not repurpose this and turn it into an earth bag slash sandbag shelter slash bunker in the woods. Get ready. All right, we'll do it live. Now, we have a few requirements. We have an earth bag slash sandbag bunker in the woods. And there's different requirements for each, okay? Let's talk about the sandbag bunker. Two main requirements, cover and concealment. Concealment means anything walking by here or you look from a distance, it kind of blends in. Cover is protection from overhead, anything that could rain down, okay? Next, we have the civilian part of this, an earth bag house. I want that insulation double wall thickness, not only in the front, but on top as well. So we're almost back to ground zero. I'm gonna remove the rest of this berm right here, and we're gonna have two logs, one on this side, one on this side, and then a third log right here, forming a C pattern. Where we're gonna stack our logs for our roof, and ultimately our sandbags. Tell you what, where's Charlie Sheen when you need him? So far so good, we're looking outstanding. Here's what I'm thinking with this. We have a Y branch right here. At some point in the future, I wanna install a door. So where my door jam is gonna be on this side, I'll put this somewhere in here. Boom. Dig it out a little bit, and then run a cross member underneath here to support the weight. Because at some point, we'll put a tarp over that, and then some earth and some sandbags for overhead cover. So boom. Door jam right there. Okay, so we have two and a half bags right here. One, two, and there's the half. The next one I place on here is gonna land right there, covering this half in the center. And the next one's gonna go right here, 
then a half bag, and then full, full, half, just like this. This is called a running bond. All the weight will be locked into each other, and the whole thing will be a solid wall. If I just stack them on top of each other and go one, two, three, just stack, 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 that's called a stack bond. If I were to push on it, the whole thing could topple over. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One my Amazon Influencer page and two my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. sweet home. That's what we're talking about right here. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. The hard part's done. We gotta harden the roof up, frame out a window, add a door, and then fill these gaps in with some type of moss or clay. Fire pit. And we're good to go. net. Okay, so I'm at that critical stage where I'm gonna go ahead and load the roof up and I put this brace into that wall. We have a Y branch right here. So what I'm gonna do, just to be safe, is get a log and I'm going to place it underneath here. Now, I'm not gonna just put the log underneath there and walk away. 
far too many YouTubers do that kind of stuff and you're just waiting for the roof to cave in. I'm gonna go ahead and notch it out, kind of like a chair, and place that chair, the seat portion of it, underneath here and the back of that chair against the top or the side of that pole and then lash it down. This way, all the loads can be forced into the seat of that chair and into the ground. Okay, so some are asking themselves, well, how's that window hanging there? Is it magic? Well, I do possess magic skills, but that's a whole different video. All we did right here is we ran a log under this sandbag here and under this sandbag right here. So it kind of wedged it in with using gravity. It's kind of pushing down on that log. And then I just used two arbor knots and tied my window to that log, which allows it to pivot up and down. Simple. So from here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some ordinary moss and we're gonna plug all these holes 
and try and keep bugs out and rain and wind, the elements, things like that. Okay, so Vault 76 is now complete, but it's gonna be dark inside there. So I wanna improvise some type of bushcrafty candle holder. Now I did this about two months ago, but it was different. This one here is a simple Y branch. Cut it off about six inches on this side. If you look at where that fork begins, it's about three inches on this side. All I'm gonna do is sharpen the end and then shove it into the wall. It's got a slight curve to it, like a hook. Gravity pulls downward, so what's gonna happen? It's gonna lock itself in that wall. Then simply melt some wax right here, place the candle on top. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
Okay, so what we got going on here? Cheese stuffed kielbasa wrapped in bacon, cooked in oil. And yes, there were three, but one didn't make it. So these things right here are called howlers. Courtesy of Kevin Baxter of Salty Dog Outdoors. Check him out on YouTube, Salty Dog Outdoors. And Dave Canterbury, Pathfinder Survival. There we go. Oh my God. Truly perfection. Can't even describe this to you, other than the food of the gods. Wow. Mmm. Catch you all in a few. Mm mm mm. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's almost too much work for an overnighter. I'll tell you what, looking at 15 hours, it's 9 15 p.m. So, but we got her done. So, that fire pit's badass. Those entire bowls on fire. And that's artificial. I mean, I had to mound that up and dig it out. I'm digging these earth pits though, man. These are these are cool. Um, Saves me a lot of time from cutting logs down and I can just dig a hole in the ground and boom, there you go. I really appreciate it. Watch my videos all the way to the end. Share them with everyone everywhere. Get me back in that feed. Hopefully this build right here will just skyrocket. Who knows? Or in a tank and it will get copied everywhere and theirs will at least skyrocket. But you saw it here first. What we got left tonight, get that candle lit. Um, and there's something I want to try with that candle too. That means the battery's almost dead, so outstanding. Um, let's get inside here, get that candle lit, and check her out. Okay, so here we are. We're inside of our sandbag shelter in the woods. The uh, candle appears to be working, so is what it is. Um, less battery usage. My feet have plenty of room. I can actually sit up inside the shelter. Um, it'd be a comfortable night's sleep. It's one of the larger shelters I've built, but it was a bucket list item. A sandbag fort in the woods, and I'm happy with this. We repurposed an old shelter and made something outstanding. So... I'm looking forward to staying here tonight. So I'm going to get all my stuff, get ready, um, put that fire out because it is just too damn hot. Catch you all in the morning. Was outstanding. Check this out. The window ledge doubles as a coffee holder. Boom. All right, time to get this party started. Let's talk about this shelter. What do we do here? Well, we took an existing hole from our hillside dugout shelter in the woods and simply made it deeper. Now, this shelter was different. We had two goals, not just one. We wanted to blend a military style bunker with that contains cover and concealment with a earth bag home. So we dug the hole deeper, had our logs, okay? Now we reinforced those logs with a support beam right here in Y branch so that it would actually be able to hold or support the sandbags. 
From there, we built our wall and our window opening. At that point, we went ahead and hardened the roof, okay? So just in doing that, the cover and conceal element for a military bunker was complete. Concealment, anyone walking around up here, unless you walk right up on this, you're not gonna see it. Cover, it's now hardened from anything that could fall or drop overhead. One and done, boom, okay? Now, the earth bag home. You want to make this more of a civilian type shelter that will keep cool during the summertime and warm during the wintertime. We added a window that opens up and a door that pivots. We then took our moss and filled all the cracks in, all the gaps, keep mosquitoes and bugs out. And lastly, we added earth and then dug out our fire pit. So, two for one and I'm happy. Like I said last night, this was a bucket list item and turned out well. Like I already said, Corporal's Vault 76. And there you go, still overnight building a sandbag shelter slash fort in the woods. More great things to come. Um, we're halfway through the year, so plenty of months left. With that, all the gear in my video can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, all three links can be found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. For those that stuck around, check this out. This Boreal 15 that I've been using in the video. It's a Gawa Canyon Boreal 15. It is a Pathfinder edition. It comes with two blades and it goes on sale at Self Reliance Outfitters on Tuesday. Whatever day that is, June 1st, 2nd, I think the 1st. I don't know, I'm running seven days a week. Point is, this coming Tuesday, first week of June, these go on sale. Use my Self Reliance Outfitters link in my description box and get them while they last. This with a silky saw and you're unstoppable.